this is Fan Phoenix here, and welcome to this episode of the Omega Ruby Dust Log! In this episode, we are actually gonna go find Brendan and figure out what the heck he's up to. But first, we are going to look at Oliver's nature! Because we didn't do that last time. So, of course, as always, he has overgrow. His moves are pound, leer, and absorb. Uh, let's see here. He seems to have a neutral nature. Rash. I don't see any blue or... Oh, no. There we go. He has a minus special defense plus defense nature. Eh, not terrible since he's weak to poison and flying, which tend to be physical attackers. Uh, ice tends to be special, though, so we're gonna have to watch out for that, but that's not terrible. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst, so we'll be okay with that. But without further ado, let's keep moving forward! Woo! So as I said before, I can't, uh, the Nuzlocke does not begin until I get Pokeballs, so we're all good. Hi, Wormful. You don't count as our encounter for this route because I don't have Pokeballs yet. Okay, keep going. What do you say, little man? If your Pokemon get tired, take them to a Pokemon Center. There's a Pokemon Center in Old Dale right close by. Well, how nice. I like talking to the NPCs because a lot of times they give you stuff and I like free stuff. So I'm trying to minimize encounters here because we don't have super repels yet. Hi, Zizi Dude! You're so cute! Oh my god! Should I fight it? Why not? The dose like hasn't started yet and I would love to be level 6. That would be nice. Because encounters don't start until I get the Pokeballs. And I don't have that yet. Tackle. Absorb. Give me my HP back. Blop. I mean, aw, oh, not quite a level. Not yet. Is there an item over here? There is not an item, but there is a trainer. Uh, why is there a person in the grass? Hmm. Most of the time I will do wild battles off screen because they get boring after a while. At least, like, recording-wise. But... I will say, this game has one of the best, uh, encounter, uh, soundtracks. It's just, it's so upbeat, it just, doo-doo-doo. Da -ba -da -ba -da -da. Da -ba 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 -ba. It's just so good! I love it! Come on, Oliver. Let's get this dude in. I'm not gonna do a, uh, little team showing thingy until I get six Pokemon. I think it'll just be easy for me that way. There we go! Level six. That's all I wanted to do. Just, just get to level six. I was like, I'm close enough. Alright, man. No. No, you will not get away from me. What do you have to say? Oh, it's just, it's just wild Pokemon come out of the grass. Oh, come on! I was almost there! Go away, Zigzagoon. I'm level 6. I feel okay right now. Let me run and go away. Okay. Keep going. Oh, hi, Old Dale Town. Good to see you. And the Pokemon tutorial. Woo! I know about the Pokemon. It's I, I I know. Well, thank you for the free potions. I will take those. Thank you, sir, very much. And the Pokemon Center tutorial. 
Yay! Okay, at least they don't drag you in there like some other games. Cough, cough, black two, white two. Or is that black and white? I can't remember. It's one of the Gen 5 games that literally drags you into the Pokemon Center being like, this is what where you go to heal your Pokemon. What do you have to say? PC stuff. Male and female Pokemon. You say anything interesting? No, I want I want to talk to the dude. Uh, Pokemon Journal. Okay. I don't know what that is, but sure, whatever. Pokemon Centers are great. Yada yada. Okay. No one says anything interesting, nor gives me something, so therefore they are useless. What do you say? Oh, about saving your game. Do you give me any more? No. Okay. Well, let's see here. You say anything interesting? Nope. Do you say anything interesting? Nope. It's just... It's basic information. Hi, what do you got? You don't have any Pokeballs, but I have 11 potions now. Um, I'm gonna just buy four. We will be okay for quite some time. The rest I may keep for uh, Pokeballs. Alright, uh, that's pretty much all we can do here, because he's blocking the path for no good reason. Uh, you have anything interesting to say, madam? Nope. No, nothing interesting. Nothing interesting whatsoever. And here's Rat 103. Do you have something interesting to say, sir? Oh, it's about sneaking. Which is just, you just slowly inch your way. It's good for going through grass, because it means you're less likely to come up on uh, wild Pokemon. But without further ado, let's not waste any time, save our game, and go talk to Brendan. Hey, though. Hello, person I ship me with. Hello, ship. How are you doing? Okay, so this... So it's this one that lives on that route on 103. Great job on the pro out game, Brendan! Huh? Hey, Diana! Oh, so you finally got a Pokemon for my dad. Yeah, it's a Trico. His name's Oliver, and he's awesome. And how about a little battle? Since we're here and all, I'm gonna teach you uh, what being a trainer's all about. And here we go! Our first... Rival battle! And the music is just so good. I love this music. Ba, 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 ba. It's too good for Brendan, honestly. I mean, he's nice and all, and he's a good rival, but I prefer other ones. He's, he's just kind of okay. Actually, Brendan's not the one I ship with May. I, I, I rethought that. There's another character that's better than Brendan, because he actually has a character arc Brendan does not, so... Yeah, he gets more points in my book. Duh. Sorry, I'm just enjoying the music right now. Duh, duh, duh. But at least he picks something that's stronger than you, giving you, you know, more of a challenge than another rival that I know of. But that doesn't make him any easier, to be honest. See, I was level 6 for a reason. Uh, let's do a leer and then we'll pound him to death. Because Absorb is going to do monkeys! That plus defense nature coming in, yo! Alright, now now we get to pound to death. Pound it, pound it, pound it! Pound! Pound! Okay, if you're just gonna use Scratch, I'm not gonna complain, cause I'm- I'm faster. High critical hit. I- I- I hate those, but I also don't like, like, trying to predict them, because it doesn't feel- make the game feel as authentic. And there we go! Already level 7! That's a good level to be. Yay! I won against Brendan, who is not- who is officially not the ship that I want for May, because there's another guy in this game! That is far better for her, and it just 
Yeah, he's he's the dude. He actually has a character arc. Brenda does not. Huh, you're not too shabby, Diana. Maybe because I've played Pokeball before. I get a little money for winning. That was a, it was a good battle. Thanks. Here, let me heal up both of our parties real quick. Well, thank you. At least you're nice. I get health. Uh, I think I know why my dad had his eye on you now. Look, you just got your Pokemon, right? And you already have that strong of a bond? Of course we do! Oliver's awesome! I get the feeling that you can befriend any Pokemon, Diana, no doubt. Well, that's a good thing. I'm gonna need to. Well, I've got some good data here, so I guess it's time I got back to the lab. You should head back too, Diana. Okay, we'll go do that then. So we're just gonna try and skip as much grass as possible and get our butts down there. Because we get to do a thing! I'm heading back to my dad's lab first. Come on, Diana. Why? Why was that there? He already mentioned he was going back to the lab. What? Game Freak, why'd you put that there? I don't get it. Maybe it's just like, hey, if you're training or something, here's a reminder of what you need to do. I don't- I don't understand! Oh, Diana, over here! Hi, Professor Birch. So I hear you beat Brendan on your first try. Amazing! He wasn't that hard. He kept using Scratch instead of Ember, which I believe Torchic has access to at this point. Brendan's been helping with my research for a long time. So he has a pretty long history as a trainer already. Mm hmm I think that tells it, Diana. I ordered I ordered this Pokedex for a research, but I think you should take it. I got a thing <coughs> That was terrible. That Pokedex is a high tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My boy Brendan takes it with him everywhere he goes. Whenever he catches a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex while he comes to seek me out wherever I am in the field and show me. The Pokemon and people you will meet, and the great expanse of nature that lies before you. Experience them both while you fill in your Pokedex. I'd love it if your world seemed wider than ever. Though I'd love it even more if you came back from time to time to show me what progress you've made. Sorry bro, once we leave here, we're never coming back ever again to your lab. We might come back home, but... Not to your lab, buddy. There's nothing else for us here. I'm sorry. Ah, I'm getting the itch to get out and do field work again. Huh, so you got a Pokedex too, Diana. Well then, here, have some Pokeballs on me. You can use them to catch wild Pokemon. Thank you, Brendan! But with this, the Nuzlocke officially begins! So, here! The rules! One, I can only catch one Pokemon per route unless if it's a shiny. Two, if a Pokemon faints, it must be put into the PC permanently. I may use it for HMs, however. But other than that, it will not be used in, it cannot be used in battle and it will be in the PC forever. Uh, let's see here. Three! Uh, I- Dupes Clause is in effect. So, for example, if I catch a Rattata, I cannot catch another Rattata or Eradicate whenever I'm going around other routes. And finally, as pertains to Pokemon Ami, I cannot use it, except for getting to the second heart, which only gets you just a little bit more experience per battle, which I feel is fair. Unless if I somehow, some way, make it to the Elite Four or Champion, to where I will allow myself to completely fill in the hearts of whoever's on my team, because I feel like it makes it more fun for, you know, those who actually made it that far in the game. Uh, and for the experience share in general, I'm gonna use it as little as possible. I will be using it for training and trying to make sure my Pokemon are decently leveled for whatever's coming up next. 
but other than that, I will attempt to keep it off as much as I can, but it may be difficult to keep it off in some areas. So, there you go. There's our, those are our rules. They're simple and easy, and uh, pretty much anyone can do them. So, there you go. We're, we, we got through the rules. And we put our uh, Pokeballs in the pocket. If you catch a Pokemon in the wild and battle together with it for a while, it will go stronger for you. Take that as a bit of advice from a more experienced trainer like me. I'm going to get ready to head out from Little Root soon myself. It's like, I know, it, get, it really gets you pumped up, right? Yeah. We've both got to give it our all out there, Diana. Okay, well, let's go catch our first team member! You know, besides our starter. Yay! Diana, wait! Diana, Diana, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon! You got it from the Professor? How nice! You are your fa father's child, alright? You look to get good together with a Pokemon. Dot, dot, dot. To thank you the, that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But don't push yourself too hard. If anything happens, you can always come home, honey. Thanks, Mom. I don't understand that a little animation right there. I just, I just don't. Okay. We're going to do our best to... Oh, we're stopping again. Diana! This is from my dad. He said he forgot to give it to you before. I got a thing updated. I got things updated. The app I just added to your Pokenav Plus is called the DexNav. It can tell you lots about the Pokemon living in each area and that kind of stuff. It's a handy app to have if you're trying to catch lots of different Pokemon. Guess it's about time I used the DexNav to do a little more catching myself. I'm going to head that way and see what I can find. Diana, you should use those Pokeballs I gave you earlier to do a little bit of catching, too. Well, I mean, I'm gonna do that. Just You just gotta let me do so. Now, I am attempting to not get any encounters right here. Because there's a certain Pokemon I really, really want to get. Please be nice, game. Please. Told you it works. <laughs> Okay, game. Be nice. Be nice. Don't. Okay, yes! Ha! Huh. Okay, so. What I was doing is called the sneak mechanic. It is about to be shown right here. This is the only Pokemon we are getting for with the sneak mechanic. It is also going to be our encounter for Route. 103. So, here we go. Hi, Di hey Diana, over here. See that right there? There's a tail sticking out. There's a Pokemon hiding there. And look here, if you check your de check your de dex nav. Score! It looks like that Pokemon knows a pretty rare move, too. Diana, try getting closer real nice and slow. And then that's the mechanic for sneaking. You're almost there. Slowly, slowly. Okay. Here goes nothing. When in doubt, save your game. But this is going to be our encounter for Route... Oh, it's Route 101. I thought it was Route 103. But yeah, this is going to be our encounter for Route 101. So, wish me luck. Slowly. 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 Got it! Yes! Or at least I get to encounter it. Bum, 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 bum. Go out of it! Alright, how many Pokeballs do we have? Just as a question. Ten! Okay. Good to know. Uh, I will use an Absorb. That's not good. 
I'm going to use one more absorb. Perfect. Thunderfang. Okay. At least I resist that. Whew. Okay. Not, not so scary now. Uh, no, not Pokemon. Bag. Pokeballs. Pokeball. Go! I think I know what I want to name you. But I have to make sure that's the name I'm thinking of. Two. Three. Dink. I got the Poochiana. I got 40 AXP. I'm so glad they added that. Catching Pokemon gives you experience points. That should have been a thing long ago. I got registration. Poochiana uh, is the bite Pokemon. Uh, let's see here. At first sight, Poochiana takes a bite at anything that moves. This Pokemon chases after prey until the victim becomes exhausted. However, it may turn tail if the prey strikes back. Yes, we will give a nickname. I think there's a character called Timberwolf, but don't quote me on that. Sorry about that, my phone fell off its little, um, uh, recording system. Yeah, my, my recording system is literally my phone, a buy box, and a, uh, lap desk. So, yeah, we're naming him Crypto after Crypto the Super Dog! Crypto! I was thinking of naming him, I think it's Timberwolf? But I can't find him. I know he existed. I'm pretty sure. My memory of the Legion of Superheroes is usually pretty good. What do you have to say to that, Brendan? That was awesome, Diana. I've been at this way longer than you, and, I ha and even I have a hard time sneaking up like that without being noticed. Okay. But let's go heal my dudes. Now that I have my encounter for Route 101. And you know, uh, the Trico's are a little root town encounter. So, yay! We did a thing! We have our first team member! Hi, Mom! Can you heal my dudes? Thank you! Alright, there we go! And I think this is a pretty good place to stop. We caught our first team member, learned about sneaking, went over the rules of the Nuzlocke, and next time we will be moving beyond Route 101 to explore more of the Hoenn region. So if you liked this video, comment, uh, or even better, like the video with that thumbs up button. If you really like this video, consider subscribing and ringing that bell for more crazy content from me. If you'd like, you can also follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Gamescrabber, whatever you're fancy. Um, links are in the description. So till next time, TTFN, ta-ta for now.